Some people spend an entire lifetime wondering if they made a difference in the world. Marines don't have that problem. These words hold just as true today as they did when President Reagan first spoke them. When America calls, you answer. You always have and you always will. From the wheat fields of Bella Woods to the dense jungles of South Vietnam, to the deserts of Syria, and to the mountains of Afghanistan, you've gone where our country needed you most, and often for the first to do so. These last few months serve as a stark reminder of the cost of answering that call. On August 26, 13 brave servicemen and women made the ultimate sacrifice. Their efforts helped save 124,000 evacuees seeking a better life. 10 of the fallen came from right here. Standing in front of the 2nd Battalion, 1st Marines, I can't help but recognize the emotional and physical toll you and your families bear when America calls, and yet, you still prevail. Guided by the Commandant's Force Design 2030, I know the Marine Corps of tomorrow will continue to play an instrumental role in preserving freedom across the globe. Future force development requires the Corps to be agile, tenacious, and adopt to a rapidly changing environment. You are our hybrid warriors of land, of sea, and the air. Returning from my recent trip to the Indo-Pacific region, I personally witnessed the evolution and the adaptability of the Marine Corps to answer today's call, while being trained and postured to answer tomorrow's call. From the F-35Bs in Japan to the Marine Corps infantry on the Korean Peninsula, I saw how Marines are transforming the Corps to deter and, if need be, defeat future threats. Throughout your history, you've identified and embraced the changes required to maintain a competitive advantage against our adversaries. Keep solving those problems in front of you and enabling others to do the same. Keep transforming our culture to ensure this is a Marine Corps that we can all thrive in. Keep working alongside Marines from other nations, multiplying our capability and preparing for uncertain futures. Your professionalism and commitment is the glue that binds us with our partners. Your readiness and grit deters those threatening freedom and stability. I am honored to serve our brave men and women of the United States Marine Corps. From your Secretary of the Navy, happy 246th birthday, Semper Fidelis.